Hi, Independent Gel Moment Distributor Kim Foster here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this super fun chrome nail art. For this design, I used Tootie Cutie and Clearly Frisky for polishes. You will need to create a matte background, so you'll need either Matter Effects top coat or the gray buffing side of your file to buff off the shine. You're also going to need number 12 for our chrome powder, which is Spectrum number two which is galactic and number seven which is cosmos to begin you're going to go ahead and apply one base coat of tootie cutie to your nail or nail stick you only need to do one coat before you apply our chrome powder so that's pretty awesome so now that i've done that i'm going to do a full cure and it's super sped up for time's sake Next step, we're going to apply our Spectrum Holographic Chrome to our nail stick, either using your finger or our applicator. You just rub it in until it's a nice shiny finish, and then you brush off any excess powder. Make sure you do the edge of your nail as well. Once that's done, you're going to top coat it with Clearly Frisky. This is going to prevent the chrome powder from rinsing off the nail. Of course, then you'll do a full cure. For the next step, you can either use Matter Effects top coat or the gray buffing side of a file to remove the shine from the nail and give it a matte look. In the video, I'm just demonstrating the file side because our Matter Effects top coat is currently sold out. So this is how most people will have to do it. This is going to actually prevent the chrome powder from sticking to our background. Once that is done and you've gotten rid of all of the glossy from the nail, you're going to take one of our cleanser pads and give it a nice cleanse. If you use the matte top coat, you don't need to do this step. I've zoomed in nice and close so you guys can see me doing my artwork. I'm going to apply a dot of Clearly Frisky to my silicone matte, and this is what I'm going to use to draw my nail art on. I'm using my medium striping brush from our Creativity set to do my artwork. I'm going to drag my brush through the Clearly Frisky blob, and then I'm going to draw a line going down. And then I'm going to draw a line going across, so I'm forming a cross shape. Next, I'm going to go from my center point of the cross and draw diagonal lines in each of the four quadrants. So it will form an X when it's done. And this is how I'm getting my snowflake or star shape. I guess kind of a starburst look. You could cure after each line or each star if you want, if you're not feeling super comfortable. I decided to go ahead and do my two smaller ones. I'm just putting the other one, doing the exact same steps, a little bit lower down on my design. Trying to keep the arms of each line about the same width and length. And then this is just my last little guy that I'm drawing in. Of course, this is a totally random pattern, so you can put them wherever you want or wherever you want them. Or if you only want two stars or one star, it's totally up to you. Once that's done, I'm gonna do a full 45 second cure. Now we're gonna go ahead and take either, you can use the pink chrome or the purple chrome. I'm gonna use the pink one, which is number seven, Cosmos, and I'm going to apply it to my nail stick using one of the applicators. And you'll note that because we had made the background matte, the chrome doesn't stick to anything but the cured Clearly Frisky design that I've created. Just make sure to rub it in until it's completely smooth. And then you're going to go ahead and brush it off with the other edge of the applicator to get rid of any of the excess chrome dust. If you happen to get a little bit of chrome somewhere you don't want, don't worry about it. We will come back and clean that up later. I'll show you in the video. Now I'm going to take one of my small dotting tools and I'm going to use both ends and I'm just going to put some dots in to my design. And this is just random kind of placing them wherever I want. The reason I'm doing this step after applying the chrome to the stars is because this way when I go to cure it, the purple color that I'm going to apply next will only stick to the dots and not to the other stars. This is just a way of doing more than one color of chrome powder on your design. Makes it kind of slick and easy. So now that those dots are kind of where I want them, I'm going to do a full 45 second cure. For my dots, I'm using number two, which is galactic. And I'm just going to take my applicator and dip it in the chrome. You don't need much on the end of your applicator because you're just doing the little dots. And you're going to go ahead and rub those on the Clearly Frisky dots until they're nice and smooth and give it a brush off. 
making sure you don't miss any. Now, if you do happen to get a little bit of an area that you don't want chrome, I take a cleansing pad and I wrap it around the end of my dotting tool just to make it nice and pointy and wipe off the excess chrome that I don't want. So as you can see, I didn't do a very good job on the edge here and there was a little bit uh, where it wasn't matte buffed off and so the chrome stuck there. So I just gave it a cleanse and it wipes right off. Now to seal this, we're gonna go ahead and top it with Clearly Frisky, and that's gonna prevent that nail art that we've created from washing off when you wash your nails or whatever you're doing. Making sure, of course, to cap the end. You'll do a full 45 second cure. On the completed design, you'll note that I actually rotate between the stars and the dots, the two different colors. So some are pink and some are purple on each nail. I included two pics of the finished Manny in different light just so you can see how fun the background is. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.